Dream House, where in the past 10 months, we've given away over $3,300,000 in houses, cash, and prices. And today, these two couples will add to that incredible total as they compete for homes offered by our family of builders. Handsome homes, such as this gracious two-story model, The Deerwood, located in San Bernardino, California, featuring four bedrooms, two and a half baths, spacious living and dining rooms, and decorator highlights built by Barrett. Or the Southward, located in a planned Florida community. Brick stucco, wood trim, and cathedral ceilings make this three-bedroom, two-bath, two-car garage duty reminiscent of a country tutor, built by General Development Corporation. Or the Fairfax Series 2 home, provides both comfort and practical living with a spacious flip-level foyer, large 21st century eat-in kitchen, two large bedrooms, plus a guest room for easy living, built by Polaron Homes. And now, here is the man with the key to your dream house, Mr. Bob Eubank. Oh, Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dreamhouse. What fun we're going to have today because one of our two couples will have a chance to open those golden doors back behind me and maybe win their dream house. Who will it be? Our returning champions engaged to be married in August. In fact, they set the wedding date forward a little bit or back a little bit or whatever. This is Gladys Domingos and Julian Montoya. Welcome back to our show. How are you again? I don't want to frighten you. I mean, you're not even married yet, and so far the two of you have won over $18,300 in cash and prizes. Isn't that nice? Now, that includes a bedroom and a dining room and a living room. You're kind of building the blocks here, getting all the furniture and ready to win the house, right? Definitely. Well, see, I know how that works. How many kids are you going to have? Three. Two. <laughs> two. She's going to have three. You're going to have two. She's going to have two. Oh, she's going to have two. Two. All right. Boy and a girl. Whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. No. Are you from a large family? No, I'm not. Are you from a large family? Mm-hmm. Seven. Seven. Whew. That's why she only wants to have two. <laughs> you see? All right, I want you to meet your new challengers. This is Karen and Mike Nosker. Welcome to our show. Nice to see you. How are you? Oh, who's this? That's Eric. You have started. Oh, this? Yes. Both of them the same? Um, no. No. Two oh, different ones. We have two little guys. Eric and who? Brian. Ryan. Ryan? Ryan's the baby. Ryan's the baby. And Eric's Eric. three. Poor little underfed kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're cute. Now, where do you folks live? Newberry Park. And out in the San Fernando, the west end of the San Fernando Valley. Right. Okay, right. what do you do? I'm a woodworker. Great. Now, I heard a story that you met. You're both working in a restaurant. Right. right. And he was the busboy. Right. You were the waitress. Mm -hmm. And he was going out with all the waitresses. Yes, he flirted a little bit with all the waitresses. So I didn't really care for him right in the beginning. What changed your mind? Oh, he was such a nice guy that finally... She decided she wanted me. <laughs> Quality wins out. Right? Right. All right. Now, welcome to our show. There's two ways that a couple can win a brand new home here on Dreamhouse. Either they win it instantly at the end of our show, or if they play our Dreamhouse game, win it six days in a row, the house is automatically theirs. And every day, they're competing for cash in a beautiful room of furniture. Here's the pretty Debbie Bartlett to show you while John tells you about the room that one of our two couples will win today. Here it is. It's a dream house home gym, valued at $5,380. Nice room, plus let me tell you, the couple with the highest score at the end of the first round wins a pair of professional tennis rackets and his and her sportswear. That's for the winners of the first round. So we have nice prizes, ready to go. We're going to begin with a true or false question worth $50. If you get it right, you get the 50 bucks and a chance to pick a category. If you miss it, the other couple gets the money, they pick the category. You ready? Good luck to you. Here we go, $50 worth. After eight otherwise successful space shuttle missions, NASA still hadn't come up with an onboard toilet that works. <laughs> true or false, Julian? That's false. No, it's true. It's true. They still haven't had that problem. Oh, we won't talk about that. Anyway, it's true. You have $50. A chance to pick a category. These are the categories in round one. Top resolution, boy meets girl, all in good taste, or time on their hands. Which one? Boy meets girl. Okay. Boy meets girl for $100. Here's the question. According to a survey by the Roper Organization, of these three things, which is the first that men notice about a woman upon meeting her for the first time? Is it her hair, eyes, or smile? Smile. Right. Go ahead. Smile. You think we'll a guy smile. notices the smile right away. Let's see if they want to challenge. Each couple gets a chance to challenge twice in the first round. Do you want to challenge that answer or not? Yes. yes. You are going to challenge. What's your answer? Eyes. You say the eyes, they say the smile. For $100, the first thing that men notice about a woman upon meeting her for the very first time is her smile. You were right about that. 100 bucks over here, $50 for the incorrect challenge. We'll be back in just a moment to complete round one of Greenhouse in just a moment from now.
Welcome back to Dream Out. We're right in the middle of round one. Now, our returning champions, Gladys Dominguez, Julia Montoya, engaged to be married. You've got to get married in August. They've yet to win any money today, but we have lots of time. Over here, our new challengers, Karen and Mike Onoscar, have $200. Three categories remain in the first round and three toss-up questions. Let's go right to it. True or false? At the Chairman Mao Memorial Hall in Peking, you can buy souvenir Chairman Mao chopsticks. True or false, Mike? False. That's true. You can. You Over there, they have this hall, Chairman Mao Memorial Hall. You can buy these chopsticks. Chairman Mao chopsticks. Who cares, huh? <laughs> uh, I can tell you're really interested in that. You got the money, you want to run, don't you? <laughs> Pick a category. Um, time on their hands. Time on their hands. For $100, here's the question. A recent Ladies Home Journal survey revealed that given a few free hours alone with their husbands, women under 35 prefer spending that time making love. What would women over 45 rather do? Is it talk, watch TV, or also make love? Probably also make love. Also make love is your answer. Let's see if they want to challenge. Mike and Karen, do you wish to challenge that answer? Sure no, I don't think so. You don't either. want to challenge? No. Oh, dream on, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> women over 45 would rather watch television. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> True or false? Nancy Reagan is a charter member of the Elvis Presley fan club. Julian. False. That's false, yes, sure. Now you have $100 and a chance to tie this game. Top resolution, all in good taste. Which one? Top resolution. Top resolution. Here's the question for 100 bucks. You can tie it up with this answer. According to a poll conducted by the Gordon S. Black Corporation, what was the top choice among Americans this year when it came to making a New Year's resolution? Did more people say they wanted to quit smoking, lose weight, or exercise more? What do you think? Exercise more? Um, no. Answer, weight. please. Lose weight. Lose, lose weight. weight. Okay, let's see if they want to challenge over here. Mike and Karen, you wish to challenge? I think it's lose weight. Okay. No. Not going to challenge? More people say they want to do exercise more. Should have listened to the lady over here. She knew. We're still $100 $200. One toss-up, one category remains true or false. In California, the sheriff of Los Angeles County makes more in salary than the governor. True or false, Karen? True. That is true. In fact, the sheriff makes almost double of what the governor makes. $250, one category, all in good taste. This is the category for $100, and here we go. You've just about polished off an ice cream soda, but to get the last few drops, you'd have to take a few loud slurps. How many slurps does etiquette specialist Miss Manners say is allowable? Can you take three slurps, one slurp, or no slurps? No slurps. Um. No slurps. Okay. No slurps? Let's see if they want to challenge. Gladys and Julian, you want to challenge the answer? Yes, we'll go with one slurp. One slurp and no slurp. I think I make my living doing this, folks. <laughs> We're talking about slurps. This is important. Miss <clears throat> Manders says you can take three slurps. Oh, it's all right to get down to the good stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. No one wins any money, but that means that Karen and Mike with $250, you've just won round one, and look what you won. Well, Karen and Mike, for your outdoor exercise, you've just won these his and her Wimbledon tennis rackets, dynamically weighted for more power, greater head speed, and better control. Made from a special blend of boron and graphite, furnished by Wimbledon tennis rackets. And you may want to dress for tennis in Catalina's his and her active and daytime sportswear, combining fresh good looks and richly textured easy care fabrics appropriate for any sport and leisure activities. Fashions furnished by Catalina. It's a total retail value of $900, and it's all yours on DreamHouse. Hey, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Uh, it's a good way to start a game, too. We'll be back in just a moment for round two. That's when the dollars can double. One of our couples win the game, the room, the furniture, and a chance to win their DreamHouse. We'll be right back for that, so don't go away. All right, you guys, take us down. Here we go. Now, remember the drawing for our home viewer sweepstakes. That's going to be held on March the 8th. We're giving a home away to one of our home viewers. Isn't that something special? And here's Johnny to tell you about the house that some lucky person is going to win. John? Well, have you ever dreamed of a Florida vacation home? This is General Development's Difference Home, located in a planned Florida community, and it could be yours. Okay, bye. Thank you, Johnny. And by the way, if you're a married couple planning to be in the Los Angeles area for at least two weeks, 
Well, we'd like to give you a chance to be a contestant on Dreamhouse. All you have to do is write for details to Dreamhouse, Post Office Box 7801, Universal City, California, 91608. Who knows, maybe you could win the house of your dreams right here on Dreamhouse. Now, in round two, we give our couples a chance to double their dollars in one of these categories. And here they come. The categories Life in L.A., Box Office Draw, Test Tube Nation, McDonald's Debut. And once again, each couple gets a chance to challenge twice. Now, let me set the scene for you, if I may. Our returning champions, Gladys Dominguez, Julia Montoya. They're engaged to be married. They have $100. Our new challengers are Karen and Mike Nosker from Newberry Park, California with $250. We're ready to begin round two. So here it is. True or false? Albert Einstein always insisted upon cutting his own hair. True or false, Julian? That's false. That is false. You're right. And now you have $150. Pick a category. Four to choose from. Box office draw. Box office draw. Remember, you can double your dollars in one of these categories. <laughs> According to a poll of movie theater owners across America, who was the number one male box office draw for 1983? You have 150. They have 250. Double your bucks or not? No. Don't want to do it. No. Who was the number one male box office draw for 1983? Was last year's number one draw Clint Eastwood, John Travolta, or Burt Reynolds? Clint Eastwood. Um, Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood is your answer? Let's see if they want to challenge. Mike and Karen, do you wish to challenge? Want to challenge? Um, do you have an challenge idea who it might be? John Travolta. You want to challenge or not? Yeah, we'll challenge. You are going to challenge, and your answer is? John Travolta. John Travolta. Let's find out, then. Last year's number one draw was Clint Eastwood. $100 for the correct answer, $50 for the incorrect challenge. True or false? He's excited, isn't he? Yeah. He didn't think he knew that answer, did he? I thought you were wrong. I know, I can tell. True or false? One of the favorite kinds of dishes eaten in South Korea is hot earthworm soup. True or false, Mike? False. No, it's true. <laughs> you going for a little soup and salad? Well, you know, you can have hot earthworm soup. Great. You listening to what I said? No. What did I just say to you? I don't remember. I'm talking about earthworm soup. This is important. <laughs> Pick a category. You want to win a house. That's the only reason you're here, is to win a house. Um, <laughs> and I don't blame you. Try life in L.A. We'll try life in L.A. You want to try life in L.A. Here it is. Remember, you can double the bucks. Every working day since October the 4th, 1979, something has occurred somewhere in the city of Los Angeles. What would that something be? Double your dollars? What do you think? No. No, thank you. I want to do it. Okay, something has occurred in the city of Los Angeles every working day since October the 4th, 1979. What would that something be? A bank robbery? A smog alert? Or the purchase of a Rolls Royce? Bank robbery? Okay, we'll go with bank robbery. Bank. A bank robbery is your answer. Do they challenge or not? Mike and Karen Nosker, do you wish to challenge that answer? No. No. You do not want to challenge. For $100 every day in Los Angeles, there's been a bank robbery. Yes. $450. Now, we have two categories, two toss-ups remaining. Neither couple has used their double dollar. Here it is. True or false? The famous Blarney Stone that everyone goes to Ireland to kiss gets scrubbed with Lysol three times a day. True or false, Gladys? False. That is false, sure. Now, you have $500. He's starting to believe in you, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Every time you give an answer, he says, my gosh, how'd you know that? Pick a category. Um, okay, test tube nation. Test tube nation. Remember, you still can double your dollars. You have not done so. The world's first test tube twins, triplets, and quadruplets were all born in the same country. What is this nation that's cornering the market on multiple test tube births? Double your bucks? No. Okay, what is this nation that's cornering the market on multiple test tube births? Would it be England, Australia, or the United States? Um, England? Okay. Okay, we'll go with England. England is your answer. Mike and Karen, you want to challenge? No. No. Don't want to challenge? No. Not going to challenge? For $100, the nation that's cornering the market on multiple test tube births is Australia. Oh, no. Oh, no. Any money? Still 500 to 250 One toss-up, one category remains. True or false? All bell telephones ring in the key of C. True or false, Karen? True. That's no, false. Different styles have different tones. $550 over here with one category, McDonald's debut. Here's the question. These days, you can hardly go anywhere across the USA without seeing those familiar golden arches. But where in this country was the first McDonald's hamburger ever sold? How about it? Want to double your bucks? No. Don't want to do it. Where was the first McDonald's hamburger ever sold? Was it in San Bernardino, Akron, Ohio, or Tinnick, New Jersey? Um... Tenick, New Jersey. Tenick, New Jersey is your answer. Let's see if they'll challenge. Noscar, do you wish to challenge? Sure. Answer. Go ahead. Um, let's say Akron, Ohio. Akron, Ohio. The very first McDonald's hamburger was sold in San Bernardino, California. That's the end of the game. Gladys and Julian, you've just won with $550. <laughs> well, you got off to the good start.
won the first round, end up winning a little $1,100 in cash and prizes. Thank you so much for being with us. Good to see you again. Bye-bye. Hi, those little ones for us. All right, Chappie, he's got another room, and this is a dandy. Take a look at it. It's a dream house home gym. And after all of your exercising, you may want to use this. It's a massage table. The Acu Massage Table offers a full body massage from head to heel for relaxation. Designed for easy storage and portable. Furnished by Acu Massage. Next for your exercise convenience, the Americ 610 Precision Rowing Machine. Padded seat, pivoting foot pedals, and dual hydraulic resistance furnished by Americ. And you may get in shape with Excel's Brutus Bench Squat Rack and Leg Developer. Quality made exerciser for the home, designed to make exercising a pleasure, furnished by Excel. Next, you may enjoy riding on this, the Centuri Americ Home Cycle Family Fitness Aid. Features include speedometer, odometer, timer, resistance control, and 30-pound flywheel for smooth riding, furnished by Americ. And you may watch your favorite program while exercising because you'll each receive one of these. It's Tote Vision's 5-inch black and white personal TV with AM FM radio. Small, lightweight, and under 5 pounds for your home, car, boat, or travels furnished by Tote Vision. To complete your home gym, West Bend's Total Gym Home Exercise System. More than 70 exercises can be performed at your own level on the Total Gym furnished by West Bend. It's a dream house home gym worth $5,380. How about that? You got exercises. Let's go take a look at your exercise room. Come over here. You got all of this wonderful exercise equipment. You need the weight table. You, I mean, this is this is a. Pardon me. Pardon me. Little bird just told me something. He told me you're going on a trip. <laughs> he told me. You're going on a trip to Mexico City. <laughs> yes, we'll fly both of you from Los Angeles to Mexico City for a week stay at the Maria Isabel Sheraton. Close to many great attractions, this elegant hotel offers nightlife and the real excitement of Mexico, furnished by Maria Isabel Sheraton. And we'll fly both of you from Los Angeles to colorful Mexico City via Western Airlines wide-body DC-10 spaceship, featuring a Fiesta flight service. Furnished by Western Airlines, our congratulations to you. How about that? Going to Mexico City, you already want a trip to the Poconos. They're going to have such a wonderful time. We're going to see if they can't win a house when we come back right after these words. Go away. And now, our champions trying for their fourth time to win their dream house, and this is the one they want to win. Take a look. Well, Gladys and Julian are playing for this gracious two-story model, the Deerwood. Located in San Bernardino, California, featuring four bedrooms, two and a half baths, spacious living and dining rooms, and decorator highlights, built by Barrett. Okay, Bob. Thank you, John. Gladys Dominguez, Julian Montoya, engaged to be married, and now they want to win a house. After winning another room of furniture, here we go. Take a look again at our electronic lock, programmed into it a combination of three numbers that will open the golden doors. One number in the top row, one number in the middle row, one number in the bottom row. Today's winning combination is right here, sealed in this packet. Now, every day you return to the electronic lock, we take away one number that's not in the combination. This is your third return visit. That means we're going to take away three numbers. First from the top row, then the middle row, and now the bottom row. And now a chance to take three more numbers off by answering some questions in one of these categories. Famous Trials, Andrew Jackson, New Jersey. Pick one, please. Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson. Every time I ask you a question, you get it right, a number comes off. Good luck to you, and here we go. Mm. After leaving the presidency, Andrew Jackson retired to his famous plantation home. Is that home the Hermitage or the Monticello? The Hermitage. That's correct, yes. From the top row comes a number. Now there's just two. What well-known political slogan is associated with President Jackson? 5440 or fight, or to the victor belongs the spoils? Um, to the victor belongs the spoils. Got that one right, too. From the middle row, we'll take a number. One more question. Andrew Jackson was victorious in the presidential election of 1828. What candidate did he defeat? John Quincy Adams, Henry Clay? Um, Henry Clay. No, I'm sorry, it was John Quincy Adams. You got two out of the three. Now it's time to try for the winning combination. As you know, it takes a three-number combination to open the golden doors. The first number is either the six or the two. Which one? The second number is the five or the six. Finally, the third number is the three, the nine, or the one. There you have it. The two, the six, the two. Now locked into our security system, it cannot be changed. And now I'm going to ask you to press the time release bar. If the golden doors light up and open, you will have won your dream house on your fourth attempt. Good luck to you, and push the time release bar.
one, two, six, three. I had a funny feeling that time. Let's see how close you came. Did you come close? Well, you missed it by one number. Reset the lock if you would, please. We were looking for the two, the six, and the one. Had you chosen those three, push the time release bar, the doors would have lit up and open, you would have won. Be back tomorrow? I knew you would be. You won four games, you win six, it's automatically yours. We'll add up their winnings and tell you about it when we come back after these words. Baby Hawkins Day. You're supposed to chase him around the set. You can do that in a minute. We've got to go. They won over $24,200 in cash and prizes. They'll be back tomorrow. We hope you will be too. I'm Bob Eubanks, Debbie Bartlett, Johnny Gilbert, and the entire Dreamhouse Games. And the welcome mat is always out for you to join us. So long, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Our departing Greenhouse couples will receive golden green macaroni and cheddar cheese dinners made with enriched Hillville macaroni, creamier cheddar cheese, and other natural flavors furnished by Golden Green Macaroni Company. Polifill, the luxury pillow, is non-allergenic, scrunchable, pumpable, washable polifill, the modern alternative to down. No nonsense patty hose with a nip to fit design. Look and feel terrific in any style. When fashion sense makes good sense, that's no nonsense. Give me a break. Don't miss Family Ties when Mom decks the teacher with a spell doomed for Alex's college career. Then on Cheers, Carla's strange behavior forces Diane to find another job. After that, catch Buffalo Bill followed by Hill Street Blues all tomorrow on NBC. Be there. This is Johnny Gilbert speaking. Dreamhouse is a Don Reed production in association with Lorelei.